Hi, Sandy. Hello, Hi. how are you? Now, I've been watching a bit of what's going on. Right. Do you want to tell me what your problem is? Um, I think it's fairly obvious. Uh, Hector will not stop pulling. He pulls so hard it hurts my arm. Yeah. Other than that, he's wonderful. His only problem is the pulling. Well, what I'd say is he's obviously learnt to pull on that, on that lead, that flexi right. lead, to the extent that whenever he's on a lead now, he's just completely used to having the tension on it. And we'll, we'll teach him um, to walk nicely on a short lead for you so that whenever you actually want to walk beside you, he'll know what that means. Well, that'll make a nice change. <laughs> so, Hector, looks as though you're pulling at the lead is a thing of the past. Now, I've got my box of tricks here. It's got all of the sorts of leads and equipment that people tend to use. And the first thing is this. Now, I feel that this has probably not done Hector any favours at all. He's basically learnt that he can pull on it whenever he likes, and it's completely ruined all sorts of other obedience. I accept that with the M11 nearby, he's got to be on it, but ideally, we get rid of that. Now, these are head collars. Um, we've borrowed the head collar from the world of horses uh, and this is the sort of thing that we're going to use on a dog like Hector to teach him now you walk to heel. Okay, Sandy, let's just introduce him to it just gently. Pop it on. You can give him a treat or something once you're putting it on. Good lad. And this goes around the back, past his ears and just clips in at the back. Okay. Now. Dogs aren't naturally used to these. They've got to get used to it, just like they had to a collar and lead. And it would often take about five days or so for them to get used to it. You wouldn't want to fit this when you've got him free running on a flexi lead, because if he ran really fast to the end, he might hurt himself. But uh, let's get cracking and start introducing him to it. All right, and take some of those with you. OK, and hold that one in your right hand. That's it. And talk to him. Good boy. Come on, then. That's good. good, good. That's much better. Good lad. Right, and now we're just going to do the next stage. With some good treats boy. to reassure him, Hector seems to take to the new lead almost immediately. He's very happy. Look at that tail. OK. That's it. Off we go. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. It's better, isn't it? But we don't want to spoil his fun. When he's off the lead, he'll have plenty of time to investigate smells in the fields. When he's on the lead, it's time to walk to heel. Sounds fine in principle, but can Sandy make it work? Hector! 